it'll just be quick and easy. So yeah, we're okay, excited. Great. We'll, uh, we'll just ask and we'll have fun. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Going Pro Podcast. I'm Lauren Withrow here with Abby Jones. And we've got baseball broadcasting royalty in the house. I've lived in Chicago for almost a year now, and you cannot become a Chicago sports fan without hearing Chip Carey. And he is here to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. <laughs> if you want to ruin your podcast, have me sing. Don't worry, we're not going to make you sing. Lauren tries to pull a little American <laughs> Idol. You refer to your alter ego as Biff Barf. Being home for quarantine and now with baseball starting, yeah. curious how he got that name. And also, are you seeing more or less of him now that baseball? Uh, a lot. Is back? Thank God, a lot less. Uh, you know, anchor man with Ron Burgundy. We all have those affected <laughs> broadcaster voices and start talking and do stupid and mean stuff like that around the house. The game gives you so much, but it takes so much away. Uh, you miss birthday. I mean, I never saw the first steps my kids took. Just the reality of the job and the things that we get to do uh, oftentimes take away from the things we really, really want to do. And that's the life we've chosen. It's given us all a great life. It's given us a love affair with the game. It's a lifestyle that most of us could probably never imagine. Players or broadcasters alike, you know, it's one of those things that you'll pay the price and not count the cost. And the advice that my dad and grandfather gave me was, this is a personality-driven business. I am what I am, and I'm, more importantly, I know what I'm not. I'm not Harry Carey. I'm not Skip Carey. I was never them. I'm my own individual, and I've got to go about it my own way. And that was, I think, the biggest challenge of going to Chicago. Terry was such an indelible presence in the city. There were many people who expected me to be just like him. I'm not him. I didn't know him. I... Baseball took a hit after the strike in 94. 1998 is when you came to mm -hmm. Chicago to start with the Cubs. Now, Michael Jordan, the Bulls are owning the city. This is right when you got there. His mm -hmm. attention started to shift. Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire on their race for the home runs. Was it kind of like watching a Cinderella story? Come? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to work with my grandfather. He died. So I went from being his understudy to having to sit in his chair with his partners in his town with his microphone and his team. All of a sudden, the attention of Chicago went from the last dance of Michael Jordan and the Bulls to, hey, maybe the Cubs are pretty good this year. Well, let's see what happens in June. Well, Sammy Sosa hit 20 home runs. So much angst still around the game after the strike in 94. People weren't coming back. They were tired of the greed, tired of the owners and players fighting over millions of dollars. It sounds kind of familiar, I think. Those guys helped bring baseball back. They helped make baseball cool again. The race of those two arch rival franchises, these two guys from far differing backgrounds who really enjoyed the competition head to head, people of all ages, all races, all uh, demographics rallying behind their guy and tuning in to watch and see who did what every single day. It was theater, and it's the kind of theater I think baseball's aching and yearning to get back to, especially now. So what are your thoughts on the way that the MLB has handled opening back up the season. I think that baseball has a moral imperative as the national pastime to uh, help unite people. People need something to rally around. I believe in the healing nature of baseball. Let's just enjoy it. Baseball's back, right? It's the greatest game ever invented. People that play it love to play it. The owners want it out there. The broadcasters love talking about it. The fans are aching to see it again. I live close to Atlanta, so I may drive over and see a game just because I miss baseball. We'll have to catch up with you again after spring training and see how everything's going and if uh, Biff Barf is back. If he is, I'll be working at McDonald's to pay the bills. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get all 60 games in and have a nice long playoff run, ladies. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys.